As we speak, our night sky is undergoing a metamorphosis that will leave it unrecognizable in a matter of decades if not years. Astronomers worldwide have raised the alarm. Experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson have just confirmed that Polaris is about to explode, and the story behind it is harrowing. Its central presence in the night sky defines its special position as the North Star. Until now, Polaris was the one constant stargazers, navigators, and astronomers could always count on. This may change soon enough, and with it, our night sky and astronomical measurements may never be the same again. Join us as we unveil the gravity of this threat and what it means to us all. Let's explore the story of Polaris as it nears its end. Polaris has long been seen as the guiding North Star and has held a revered place as a guiding beacon for astronomers and navigators for centuries. Its steadfast presence in the night sky has been a cornerstone of navigation using the night sky, but this may all change in the blink of an eye. A recent research paper presented by the esteemed Royal Astronomical Society in September 2023 has cast a shadow of uncertainty over the fate of this celestial luminary. The star is on the verge of exploding and forever disappearing from the night sky. Before we dive into the implications of this revelation, let's take a look at the star in question. Polaris, also known as the North Star or Pole Star, holds a special place in the sky due to its proximity to the celestial North Pole. It sits almost directly above the Earth's North Pole, making it appear nearly stationary in the northern sky. It's located in the constellation Ursa Minor also known as the Little Dipper or the Small Bear. Polaris is a moderately bright star and, in terms of size, it's a yellow-white supergiant star, considerably larger and brighter than our sun but much farther away. With a radius estimated to be about 40 times that of the sun, Polaris is often perceived as a solitary star, but it is actually part of a complex triple star system. The primary stars are Polaris AA and Polaris AB, appearing as a single star to the naked eye with a third companion, Polaris B, orbiting the binary pair. The interactions among these stars create a gravitational pull, shaping their orbits and influencing the behaviors of each. Such intricate dynamics also affect the luminosity and characteristics of the stars involved. Any disturbances in these interactions can lead to irregular variations in the star's luminosity or pulsation patterns. However, the exact mechanisms and intricacies of these interactions are not yet fully known. What we do know is that since Polaris is situated some 323 light years away, the light from Polaris takes approximately 323 years to reach Earth. This means that the light we currently see from Polaris is as it was 323 years ago. Given this distance, if Polaris were to explode today, we wouldn't know about it until 323 years from now. By the time we witnessed the event from Earth, it would have occurred over three centuries in the past. Of course, the predictions made by scientists are based on the empirical evidence we see right now, which means that Polaris could have already exploded, and we simply haven't seen the light from that event yet. Historically, the North Star's importance extends across various civilizations and eras, imparting significant cultural, navigational, and symbolic value. Its stability and fixed position near the celestial North Pole have made it an invaluable navigational aid for ancient mariners and travelers. It served as a guiding beacon, allowing sailors to orient themselves and navigate across seas and lands. Since its position nearly aligned with the Earth's axis, this made it a reliable reference point for determining direction, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. Across cultures, Polaris holds symbolic importance. In some societies, it represented constancy and steadfastness. It is also seen as a pole star that has remained fixed amidst the celestial dance of the night sky. In myths and folklore, it often symbolized guidance, stability, or a celestial anchor. Polaris's fixed position in the night sky also made it crucial for astronomers. It served as a reference for observing other celestial bodies, aiding in the study of the night sky motions and patterns. As a Cepheid variable star, Polaris displays periodic variations in brightness, and this, in turn, helped uncover important discoveries about stellar properties and the nature of variable stars. This characteristic also made it pivotal in determining cosmic distances and calibrating instruments. These pulsations exhibit a predictable pattern, at least that is how the star behaves normally, allowing us to predict the pattern with ease. However, 
Recently, the star has deviated from this expected behavior. This unsettling irregularity in its pulsation cycle has baffled astronomers, prompting a closer examination of this celestial anomaly. Instead of following a predictable pulsation pattern, Polaris has begun exhibiting an erratic and unpredictable cycle of dimming and brightening. Scientists have now begun raising alarm over the issue, stating that the star may be on the verge of the end. This is consistent with a pattern of behaviors observed when a star nears the end of its life. The progressive elongation of Polaris's pulsation period, which was traditionally stable in its cyclic dimming and brightening, can be attributed to the interactions between the star system that we perceive as one on our end. We can observe that the annual increment in the pulsation duration stands at 4.5 seconds. This may not seem like much, but it's a big deal. Some astronomers have offered conservative deductions, stating that perhaps the gravitational interplay between the Polaris stars may have induced these fluctuations in Polaris's atmospheric conditions, directly impacting its pulsation patterns. However, others are not convinced. They believe that the star will explode in the near future, and there is reason for suspecting as such. Since Polaris's enigmatic behavior bears striking resemblances to Betelgeuse, a prominent star in the Orion constellation that has exhibited perplexing irregularities in its luminosity, leading to speculation about a potential imminent explosion, many experts have already raised alarms about the star's inevitable end. The fluctuations observed in both stars' brightness and patterns mirror each other, drawing intriguing parallels between their behaviors. Cepheid stars in their twilight stages showcase such patterns in behavior before reaching the culmination of their life cycles. These celestial entities, while pulsating regularly for years, undergo peculiar changes in their luminosity as they approach the end of their stellar journeys. NASA's attention was captivated by the anomalies exhibited by Betelgeuse, and the agency's heightened concern regarding Betelgeuse's potential explosion contrasts with the observed irregularities in Polaris. While NASA has expressed considerable interest and vigilance over Betelgeuse's unusual behavior, similar scrutiny and concern have yet to be officially announced regarding Polaris. Seed stars embark on a grand journey through various phases in their evolutionary cycle. Newborn stars have relatively low temperatures and brightness. Following this, they progress into the main sequence phase marked by nuclear fusion, where they remain stable for billions of years. Eventually, as their hydrogen fuel depletes, they transition into the red giant phase, characterized by a rapid increase in temperature and brightness. The red giant phase witnesses a dramatic surge in energy output before culminating in a catastrophic explosion known as a supernova. Post-explosion, what remains is a compact, dense core known as a white dwarf. Based on Polaris's irregular pulsations, scientists have predicted that the star has entered the stages of helium depletion observed in Cepheid stars nearing the end of their life cycles. As a Cepheid star exhausts its stable helium supply, it undergoes erratic pulsations, causing fluctuations in its brightness. This depletion triggers a series of events leading to irregular light emissions, potentially reflecting the depletion process occurring within Polaris. However, it is important to note that while these irregularities align with behaviors indicative of Cepheid stars in their twilight phases, definitive indications of Polaris nearing the ultimate stage of its life cycle remain inconclusive. Astronomers continue to analyze and interpret these irregularities in pursuit of understanding Polaris's impending fate. If Polaris were to go supernova, it would likely be a spectacular event in our sky. The star would suddenly become incredibly bright, potentially outshining the moon and becoming one of the brightest objects in the night sky. This luminous display might last for days, weeks, or even months. Polaris's appearance might change drastically transforming into a brilliant point of light or a transient object, possibly developing colorful hues before fading away. While the visual display might temporarily alter our perception of the familiar pattern of the Big Dipper or Ursa Minor, as Polaris is the current North Star and a part of these constellations, rest assured we would be perfectly safe. Considering the mass and distance of Polaris, the Earth would likely be safe even if the star were to explode. Visually, while a Polaris explosion might not be as striking as that of Betelgeuse, it could still be visible to the naked eye for long, outshining nearby stars. Astronomers and observatories would certainly take notice, and the scientific community and stargazers worldwide would be intrigued by the phenomenon. Nonetheless, 
the specific visibility and impact on Earth's atmosphere or surroundings would be less significant compared to a closer supernova event. But what about the star itself? Upon the precipice of a potential supernova event, what will be the post-cataclysmic fate of Polaris? Let's clarify one thing here. While giant stars usually end their lives with a supernova, this will most likely not be the case with Polaris. Normally, when a massive star goes supernova, a colossal explosion occurs within it, marking the final cataclysmic stage in the life of that star. This event results in the dispersion of heavy elements and sometimes leads to the formation of neutron stars or black holes. This process involves a complete collapse of the star's core followed by a tremendous burst of energy. However, if Polaris were to follow this route, its comparatively smaller mass might influence its transformation differently. Given its magnitude and inherent properties, Polaris might experience a less dramatic end, evolving into a dense, compact remnant known as a white dwarf. A white dwarf is the remnant core of a star that has shed its outer layers and ceased nuclear fusion. It represents the final evolutionary stage for stars that aren't massive enough to undergo a supernova explosion. The transformation of Polaris into a white dwarf would signify the conclusion of its life cycle, leaving behind a dense, dim remnant gradually cooling over billions of years. The precise outcome hinges on the star's mass and internal composition, guiding its ultimate transition from a supergiant to a white dwarf. Either way, its absence would mean a significant loss for astronomers and observers, compelling a redefinition of our understanding of the night sky and celestial navigation. Scientists will have to find an alternative reference star for navigation and recalibrate their understanding of cosmic distances, measurements, and the celestial coordinate system. In the end, the celestial narrative of Polaris serves as a poignant reminder of the ever-changing nature of the universe. As we await the star's final act, the scientific community remains vigilant, preparing to witness and document the potential celestial spectacle that could unfold in the sky. If and when the time comes, it will be a celestial event to behold as we bid farewell to a guiding beacon that has illuminated our nights for generations. As we speak, the night sky is undergoing a transformation that could render it unrecognizable within decades or even years. Astronomers across the globe are sounding the alarm. Renowned experts, including Neil deGrasse Tyson, have confirmed that Polaris, our beloved North Star, is on the brink of exploding. The implications of this event are profound. Polaris has been a constant presence in the night sky, a guiding light for stargazers, navigators, and astronomers alike. But this may soon change, altering our night sky and disrupting astronomical measurements. Join us as we delve into the gravity of this threat and its significance for us all. Polaris has long been revered as a beacon for astronomers and navigators, its steady presence a cornerstone of celestial navigation. However, this could change in an instant. A recent paper by the Royal Astronomical Society, presented in September 2023, cast a shadow of uncertainty over the future of this iconic star. Polaris is on the verge of a supernova, an event that would forever alter our night sky. To understand the implications, let's explore the star in question. Polaris, also known as the North Star, holds a unique position near the celestial North Pole, appearing nearly stationary in the northern sky. It resides in the constellation Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper. Polaris is a yellow-white supergiant star, significantly larger and brighter than our sun, with an estimated radius about 40 times that of the sun. Though it appears as a single point of light to the naked eye, Polaris is actually a complex triple star system, consisting of the primary stars Polaris AA and Polaris Eb, and a third companion, Polaris B. As we delve deeper into the complexities surrounding Polaris and its potential supernova event, it becomes essential to explore the broader implications across various facets of astronomy, celestial navigation, and our understanding of stellar evolution. Polaris, known colloquially as the North Star, has occupied a central role in human history and civilization. Its fixed position near the celestial North Pole has made it an invaluable tool for navigation since antiquity. Mariners and explorers have relied on Polaris to determine their latitude in the Northern Hemisphere guiding them across seas and lands. Its stability and predictable location amidst the celestial dance of the night sky 
have imbued it with symbolic significance across cultures. Beyond its practical utility, Polaris has represented constancy, reliability, and guidance in myths, folklore, and cultural narratives. Scientifically, Polaris's role extends beyond navigation. As a Cepheid variable star, it exhibits periodic variations in brightness. These pulsations have been crucial for astronomers in understanding the properties of stars and measuring cosmic distances. The regularity of these pulsations has historically provided a stable reference point for calibrating astronomical instruments and observing other celestial phenomena. However, recent observations have revealed a departure from Polaris's expected behavior. Instead of maintaining its typical pulsation pattern, the star has shown irregular fluctuations in brightness. This anomaly has raised concerns among astronomers, leading to speculation about Polaris nearing the end of its life cycle. If Polaris were to go supernova, it would mark a significant event in astronomical history. Supernovae are among the most energetic events in the universe. They occur when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and undergo gravitational collapse. The resulting explosion disperses heavy elements into space, enriching the interstellar medium and seeding future generations of stars and planets. For Polaris, transitioning from a yellow-white supergiant to a supernova could dramatically alter its appearance in the night sky. The star would temporarily become one of the brightest objects visible from Earth, potentially outshining even the moon. Such an event would not only captivate astronomers and stargazers worldwide, but also provide valuable insights into stellar evolution and the dynamics of supernova explosions. The aftermath of a supernova event varies depending on the star's mass. For more massive stars, the explosion may leave behind a compact remnant such as a neutron star or even collapse into a black hole. In contrast, less massive stars like Polaris are likely to evolve into a white dwarf, a dense, dim remnant of its former self. White dwarfs gradually cool over billions of years, eventually fading from view as they cease to emit significant amounts of light and heat.